Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another Enter Dimensions Reality Update video, episode 37, and here we go, 1 billion time theorems. So not only this allows me to unlock an 8th time dimension, I can unlock reality, and I can see what glyphs I'm going to get, So, or I can choose from at least. So, oh, I'm so excited for this. 3, 2, 1, go. Ooh, okay. So I'm... So I have an infinity glyph, a time glyph, a dilation glyph, and a replication glyph. I was hoping for a dilation glyph. Ana has two effects, so this looks starting to look really good. So this is just your standard infinity dimension power up. This is time dimension power up. And dilation, it's actually kind of disappointing. This is... So normally I'd be getting stuff like dilated time, but instead I get these two effects. Generate time theorems per hour, which could be useful, especially for like the E10 eternity point thing, like that could be huge for that, but kind of kind of pointless at this point. And then Tachyon Galaxy Threshold Multiplier times 0 0.789 987? I'm not sure what even that, I'm, is this just like, I, is it just like, I know it has to do with this upgrade, the time dilation, like, it has to do with this upgrade, is this just, this is multiplied by 0 0.987, if that's, that's barely anything, unfortunately, like, unless it's per upgrade, which I don't know, but, that's actually really disappointing. The real dilated time thing is in the replication, which is times you know, multiply dilated time gain by plus 3.71 per E10,000 replicanti. Okay, well, I said I, I was thinking about a dilation glyph, but not anymore. This is, um, this is kind of... This is kind of disappointing, actually. Like, I got really excited when I saw Dilation Glyph and there was two effects. And, no, I just want, I just wanted a flat dilated time multiplier. Like, not any of this, this stuff, or, I don't know. I mean, this still could be very useful. But, uh, it's, like, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I was thinking, I mean, maybe, like, okay, like, that kind of thing, it'll make stuff like this, or not this, um, it'll make this trivial. However, I mean, like, okay, 3.44 times, this is also 3.32 times, but, yeah, oh my god. <laughs> it always likes to give me tough decisions. I don't feel like I want another time dimension one, because I already have one. There's also this infinity dimension one, which I could get because it will boost pre-eternity, allowing me to possibly get the um, ex existentially prolong upgrade, which will be pretty good, I think. But I don't, I don't know. Oh my god. Well. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to disable dilation. Actually, I might just wait for this upgrade. No, I'll, I'll just disable dilation. Start grabbing more eternity points, especially with the 8th time dimension. I'm going to be able to get a lot farther, but yeah, I don't... Basically, at this point, there's two things I'm going to be doing, and this is grinding... Eternity points for reality machines. I guess also grinding dilated time. Um, so those two things will be crucial. And I'll be grinding banked infinities. So I can get the E12 banked infinities. And then maybe we can get a higher glyph level. Because right now it's level 2. And like you can see this is going up. But I'm still pretty far from a third. Um, from a level 3 glyph. So it's... Oh my god. This selection is very interesting. I didn't expect this. I 
because I'm used to these bottom left effects, but then it's throwing me for these curveballs of these top right effects. Which I've never I've never I've never seen either of these two effects or this effect. Because I'm trying to keep myself spoiler free. I might I might have heard of the time theorem per hour one. But not not this. Which just seems like such a garbage thing. At least until I start going like way, way, way up in eternity points where I get or not eternity points, like but dilated time. I'm talking like meta dimensions tier, like E sixty, E seventy, E one hundred dilated time. But we're we're not we're not there yet. And you can see it is actually fast to reach as much as E five thousand eternity points here, which is nice, but the other thing about this is that okay this is episode 37 the last episode i uploaded to youtube which isn't even like public up public publicly published is episode 24 which is way way back pre-break infinity <laughs> this reality which is kind of crazy to think about but yeah i think well Basically, this means that I'm going to be spending a ton of time pushing as far up as I can with reality machines, glyph levels, and I'm definitely going for at least level 3 glyph. Maybe level 4 glyph will be within reach, and that's when things will might start getting even more interesting. But we're, we're not there yet, as with so many things so i think what i'm gonna do i'm gonna just i'm first gonna grind the banked infinities because that gives me a boost to all of my eternity points and everything and then i'm also well, i was interrupted there and unfortunately i have to lose some time with the dilated time thing but whatever i can just progress and basically it's it's really just the same thing like enter dilation and try to get just as much as I can or also get that that would be actually useful if I can remember every time and yeah it's honestly it's pretty boring and that's why that and that's why I'm gonna skip all of this I'm gonna edit all this out but basically maximize dilated time also get banked affinities and yeah See in a bit. Okay, I'm back a day later, and you can see, just a day later, I'm all the way up to E6000 eternity points, and I'm still gaining them relatively quickly. I have about E20 dilated time, it's enough for 114 Tachyon galaxies, which isn't even all that much, like it's probably possible to reach like 160 plus eventually, and this is just goes to show the power of the glyph here, because now if we go to Antarctica pr production, about like over a third is from tick speed upgrades, and three quarters of that is from the time dimension. So it's, it's quarter from the, the from the time dimensions, which means that it's doing probably a solid one percent, which is like sixty orders of magnitude at this point. The other thing is that the glyphs, they're level 2 here, but I'm extremely close to level 3 glyphs. So if I just do one more run here, I should pretty easily be able to get to 3 glyphs. And I've also reached my minimum goal for reality machines, which is 28. But there are more reach goals, such as 78 or 128. If I can get 128, I unlock the black hole. But... I don't, I don't know how easy that's going to be. So you can see now I'm incredibly close to a third glyph level. So we're going to see this as this goes to three live. What, what will the effects look like? So we currently have this. And also I've been thinking about this. I'm leaning towards the infinity glyph because basically, okay, you know, here we go. Level three glyph. What does this do? It actually is pretty weak in all cases. It this goes up from 28 like from I think tw yeah, 28 to 30 like thousandths 
This goes from 26 to 28 thousandths. This goes from like 3.7 to 4.2, which isn't very good. This goes from 0.65 to 0.79. And this goes up to, this drops by 0 0.001. Yikes. <laughs> but here's my thought process for these glyphs. Basically, this one is outclassed by this in basically every way, in both rarity, uniqueness, because I already have a time dimension glyph, and by how much of the game it affects. So we're going to discount this one immediately. Now, we have basically three choices. This one basically is a moderate boost to basically the entire game, from pre-eternity, which will allow me to get the reality upgrade which will allow me to maybe get something like ex existentially prolong and it'll boost the late game as well when i mean when the late game i mean like dilation and grinding reality machines and stuff then we get the dilation glyph which is a this time theorem per hour is a is a way to just cheese the mid game and when i mean the mid game i mean like eternity to maybe something like Time Study 181. It basically skips over that entire section of the game, which is good for basically one thing, and that is the telemechanical process. That's basically it. There is the other effect, but I've done some calculations. I'm going to calculate it again. At my current number of dilated galaxies, which is 114 or 57 base, it will make the cost of getting the galaxies, that's basically what it is. It's basically the second upgrade here, but like a little bit better. Basically, it makes it about, at this point, 2.3 times cheaper for dilated time per galaxy, which basically means that might seem good, but it's actually only about two galaxies, and it's only going to affect can have an effect in dilation. So that's like maybe 10 orders of magnitude of eternity points, which isn't good. And then there's the true dilation glyph, the replication glyph, which multiplies dilated time by a decent amount. It's about 4.2 per E10,000 replicanti. This means if I go on, on a sufficiently long run, I'll be able to get about a nine times multiplier because it'll be one plus eight. From the replication glyph so but the other problem with that it's only it's only gonna affect dilation it's gonna it's gonna leave me hanging for reality upgrades such as the del mechanical process and existentially prolong now the other thing here is the perk i'm going for i won't get it next reality but i'll get it the reality after auto complete one eternity challenge every 60 minutes and they'll be completed sequentially but basically basically how i'm reading this is that even if i haven't unlocked it it will automatically complete basically turning it into old new game plus because that's exactly what old new game plus did it just auto completed all the eternity challenges and that is enough to easily cheese both existentially prolong and the tail mechanical process or not, no, no, what I meant, oh my god, I'm so dumb. When I meant the tail mechanical process, I actually meant the paradoxical forever. Whatever, I, I suck sometimes at all this, but yeah, you can see what these upgrades do. Um, this is a decent tachyon particle multiplier, and yeah, there's also the, the problem of which glyph am I going to use for linguistically expand, which I'm eventually planning to do. Not next reality, but maybe like the reality after or something, something in that vein. So I, I really think that if I'm going to be able to cheese the existentially prolong in two realities, something like this is kind of useless because it'll, it'll make it faster one reality earlier, which is kind of pointless. And so I'm going to discount the, the dilation glyph. It's just not good. So that leaves me with the infinity glyph or the replication glyph. 
which is really a which is the true dilation glyph. I think that if I'm gonna be able to cheese, if I, if I can get old New Game Plus in like two realities, I'm starting to think that actually going replication glyph is probably the best idea. Even though it's the least rare, and it kind of has it's it's it's, it's an effect that takes a while to build up. I think that it'll be the strongest in actually getting me reality machines, and it'll also help for an upgrade such as the telemechanical process. Which I, yeah, the, actually the telemechanical process. So that's what I think I'm going to choose. It's kind of weird, but because of what kind of perks I'm going for, I think this really is the best idea. So I still have a long time until my episodes catch up. I mean, I would, I would reality now if I, if the last, video I hadn't up if I hadn't publicly published was episode 21. <laughs> so yeah, seen a bit. Okay, I'm back a couple of days later and a, a bunch of things have happened. First, I've gotten all the way to E22 dilated time. Next upgrade is another triple the amount of tachyon particles gain, except it's kind of far away, it's a day away, and the other thing is I grinded banked infinity. We're not oh, not banked infinities yet, just infinities. So if we go here, I have 1.2 e13 infinities. It's enough for an e27 times multiplier. Unfortunately, this is not permanent. And I also did a little run for eternity points. I originally thought I was only going to get around e6300, but then I noticed again I forgot these time studies, which brought me up to E6370. So that's pretty cool. That puts me at 60 reality machines. You can see I've unlocked the next, uh, or the boundless flow, which is pretty nice. Although it's, I don't think I'm going to be getting it anytime soon because I already have an insane infinity. I, I mean, no, this is the kind of upgrade I'm, I'm going to want to get eventually. It's basically study 181, but for infinities. So it's, it's good, but it's kind of just a nice to have at this point. And the other thing is just how many reality machines I can get. I can get 60, which is pretty good. It's not quite the 78 that I might really want. And even if I did get 78, I'm debating actually buying any of these because of well, I'm saving up for the black hole. It might be just be better to get one of these. I'm actually starting to realize, like, with Eternity Child 10 reward, this upgrade could be pretty sweet. Like, better than the knowing existence. But, I don't know if it's really best to get something like that, or save up for the Black Hole, which is just gonna speed up game time, and just... I don't know, at least, at least that's what I think it's gonna do. I mean, yeah, the game runs faster, and it's just exciting and new, so I kind of want the black hole. But anyway, we'll we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. We can actually see if I can get a 78 reality machine. I'm, I'm just going to go back into a standard dilation run, and just so I could lower the amount of time to get this upgrade. So the other thing is level... How possible is level 4 glyph? You can see these are my factors, and it looks like there's one clear thing that's coming out ahead, and that's dial at a time. And it's definitely continue to be going to continue to be that way. I probably will get a long Replicanti run in someday. I did get up to E20,000, so I don't think I'm going to get that much farther with it. But yeah, that is something to note. And it almost looks not possible to reach level 4. We'll, we'll see. We'll see when we get there. It's I still need to upload several videos to YouTube before I start the next reality. So, yeah, see you in a long while. Okay, I'm back like five days later, and I have just barely unlocked this next triple the amount of tachyon particles gained. I just want to show you where I'm at. 60 reality machines gained on reality. 76.3% to a level 4 glyph, mostly because of dilated time, but also Replicanti, because I've gotten all the way up to E23,300. So that's actually 
pretty decent. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to just see with all these new, you know, galaxies and everything. I'm up to 158. Maybe I'll be able to get to more turny points. So that means I have to, yeah, respect time studies on next turn. Do this. Gain 9 E11 tachyon particles. Go into the usual active build and don't forget to do this. And let's see how far I'm able to reach now. Well, this is disappointing. It doesn't look like it's actually all that quick to reach even just break even on eternity points. So this is interesting to see. I'm really hitting a wall. I think it's because of how the time dimensions start scaling after E6000 eternity points. There's also this weird eighth time dimensions purchased above one E8 as they'll ever get there will not further increase the multiplier, but that's probably for a later period. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to get more eternity points and I'll see where I'm, I'm not going to go and run that long, but it looks like it still is possible to reach at least something like E6400 eternity points. Let's see how much that raises everything else. See you in a bit. Okay, so it's been like a couple hours, like an hour and a half maybe, and I can get up to E6454 eternity points, which is pretty good. But the thing is that I really need to focus on getting the dilation. Even with the glypho factors here, it's a little bit better, but still not quite up to level 4 glyph. So let's do this. Let's go into the dilation build, and we can just buy these and these, and then go into, basically this is the plan, go into a ultra-long dilation run. Or basically, I'm going to go for this, this, and I'll probably get it up to about E25 dial at a time. And yeah.